Take a moment and look around yourself. How many things in your immediate environment are made out of plastic? One of the world's most used materials, sophisticated, lightweight and cheap. Plastic suits a broad spectrum of uses, from keeping food safe to consume for a long period of time to producing life-saving solutions like mosquito nets. But once seen as a sign of modernity, the miracle material that made modern life possible has now also become a symbol of crisis for the 21st century and is more than ever at the center of society's debates. Around 9 million tons of plastic has been produced since 1950, out of which only 9% has been recycled, which then goes through a sorting process and in the end, only 5% of all plastic is reintroduced to the production cycle. The rest of it is becoming trash and has ended up in landfills or just has been dumped in the wild. It is estimated that every year, around 4 to 12 million tons of plastic waste ends up in the oceans. If this trend continues, there would be more plastic than fish in the ocean by 2050. And so it has become more important than ever to ask the question, can we create a plastic-free world? One of the major challenges of our times and we are literally draining our planet to produce it. Around 8% of the world's annual petroleum production is converted into making plastics. A victim of its own success, plastic's greatest asset is now its biggest curse. Its durability means that plastic stays in our environment for hundreds of years. Even when degraded, plastic never truly leaves the environment but is present as smaller pieces invisible to the naked eye. And so reduce, reuse and recycle has been embraced as the common approach to combat the escalating plastic waste problem. But recycling is costly, relies on human behavioural changes, which is difficult to attain, and produces lower quality of plastic with each recycle. Therefore, in addition to these solutions, we need a fundamental change in order to make a noticeable impact while tackling the plastic waste problem. And according to recent advancements, a new plastic future in which biodegradable polymers replace conventional plastic could be the answer. These new materials need to have all the positive aspects of plastic and replace all the negative ones. Scientists and innovators have been trying to reinvent plastic for a while now. And it's exciting to see the simple and promising innovations that are coming up. An Indonesian company, Evoware, produces eco-friendly, biodegradable, edible plastic packaging solutions. It makes cups as well as other containers from farmed seaweed free of chemicals, which means it dissolves in warm water. It's 100% biodegradable and it's not only safe to eat, it also contains good fibers, vitamins and minerals naturally found in seaweed. So you can also eat that cup after you finish your ice cream. They taste like jelly and come in flavors from peppermint to green tea. And despite being edible and biodegradable, EvoWare's products have a two-year shelf life. India also has its own sustainable food packaging company. Its range of 26 biodegradable includes tableware, cutlery and food containers that has a life of around 90 days. The company works with farmers to turn the waste of common agricultural crops that would otherwise be burnt and add to air pollution into a 100% eco-friendly product, making its impact on the environment with a double-edged sword and it also has a very original name. Wait a minute! Another exciting plastic alternative is Newtan a new sustainable material developed by the design and research studio Crafting Plastics. These are produced out of natural resources, for example, corn starch, potato starch or used cooking oil. With its exceptional properties, it can be processed by standard plastic industry technologies as injecting molding, 3D printing, laser cutting, heat pressing, etc. And so it can be tailored into a variety of end materials ranging from interior objects, fashion accessories, houseware to consumer electronic parts. The designers believe it could replace all the packaging we know. Unlike plastics made from carbon-based raw materials, Newtan is biocompatible and animals can safely eat them. 
It is compostable and supposedly has a lifespan up to 15 years and can withstand temperatures up to 110 degrees Celsius. But the main problem is that these new innovations are usually produced in small quantities and mostly on demand. Biodegradable bioplastics are waiting to see a boom with increasing awareness in the industries as many companies are pledging to decrease their carbon emissions and are investing and collaborating with people with better solutions. The Guardian recently announced their switch to a potato starch-based plastic alternative for the packaging of their print edition. The packaging is completely biodegradable and dissolves within six weeks. A few months before that, LEGO launched sustainable bricks made from a plant-based plastic sourced from sugarcane. Explaining the launch as the first step in the company's goal to go fully bioplastic by 2030, LEGO's vice president said that children and parents will not notice any difference in quality or appearance of the new elements. In the grand scheme of things, these steps are quite minuscule and some might deem them frivolous. But if we keep sitting and waiting for the big change, it's highly unlikely to come out of anywhere. But what about the plastic waste that has already accumulated in various landfills, dumps and ocean floors of the world? There is no one solution to the plastic problem. Scientists have discovered that wax worms, typically used for fishing, can munch on plastic bags. These worms eat plastic and poop glycol, a form of alcohol. So can these worms help us eat our way out? In the research, each worm created an average of 2.2 holes per hour. Overnight, 100 wax worms degraded 92 milligrams of plastic shopping bag. At this rate, it would take these same 100 worms nearly a month to completely break down an average 5.5 gram plastic bag. The goal is to figure out the mechanism inside the worm's gut that allows such efficient breakdown of plastic so that they can use this information to design better tools to eliminate plastics from our environment. In addition to this, plastic-eating fungus has been found in Pakistan and Ecuador. They can break down plastic even in an air-free environment, which might even make it effective at the bottom of landfills. But as we said before, there is no one solution to the plastic problem. It's just too vast. But necessity is the mother of invention. Innovative and environment-friendly projects have converted hard-to-recycle plastic waste into building materials and made hurricane and earthquake-proof homes made out of plastic. Some have even used trashed plastic bottles to replace bricks and build sustainable homes. But the man who takes the cake here is the plastic man, Raja Gopalan Vasudevan. He developed an innovative method to reuse plastic waste to construct better, more durable and more cost-effective roads in a shorter span of time. Plastic waste helps increase the strength of the road, reducing road fatigue. These roads also have a better resistance towards rainwater and cold weather. I repeat, there is no one solution to the plastic problem. But we have no dearth of reinforcements. If you guys are new to the channel, then I do encourage you to smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single video on our channel. As well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button below. We make content on a wide range of subjects and you can even suggest us the topics you want us to cover in the comment section below.